the experience with our staff moving to a conscious sedation program has been uh, fantastic. The patient throughput scheduling, patient satisfaction uh, went uh, way, uh, way higher. Once I had the access to 3D ice in 2021, uh, I transitioned completely to 3D ice. Um, it took a lot of guessing uh, out of uh, the work uh, when it comes to sizing, uh, deployment for any LAA closure device. Atrial fibrillation therapies are exploding both in the United States and around the world, primarily afib ablation and left atrial appendage closure. So we have the same patients needing to use the same resources in a healthcare setting. This also allows us to facilitate same-day discharge. We were able to minimize the utilization of general anesthesia. We could schedule uh, LAA closure devices at any time, at any day of the week, uh, without having to uh, go back to two other uh, third parties. Another benefit of utilizing conscious sedation is room turnover. Uh, the timing that it takes to get a room turnaround is, for us, average an hour or less. We don't want to necessarily think about efficiency as just speed. The efficiency comes in all of the supporting architecture because we've refined the workflow in 3D ICE, which is using moderate sedation, limiting the number of transition points for a patient so that their total time in the hospital is reduced and um, creating consistency amongst the operators. So recognizing that they need to um, expand their program in a way that gives them the most flexibility. Certainly cost is a concern. Uh, every, every time we add a resource into a lab or add a, a technology to support a procedure, we have to understand what the benefit is. We found internally that we can have uh, about 30 to 33% of cost savings by going conscious sedation. Cost is actually, could be even saved uh, with 3D ice because of the ability to schedule more cases, have a shorter turnaround, and um, uh, the technical fees involving uh, an imaging cardiologist. The experience with our staff moving to a conscious sedation program has been uh, fantastic. Number one, we were able to complete the, the entire procedure by placing the catheter in a single position and obtain all the views necessary to comply with the, with the, with the post-implant criteria. In addition to that, uh, we not only have 2D images, but we were able to obtain 3D images and multi-planar reconstruction. One of the other advantages to using 3D ice uh, personally has been the ability to manipulate the image myself. That translatable motion from my hands gives me the ability to really know where I am spatially in the atrium. It takes a lot of the guesswork out of uh, uh, imaging the device. I don't perceive that the future uh, of doing LAA occlusion devices will include intubation and TE. So instead of scheduling a patient uh, eight to 12 weeks uh, far out, you're able to, to cut that time at least by half. And, and that increases patient satisfaction overall. The ability to use conscious sedation, a significant um, patient satisfier, and patients see that you know, their, their procedure times are truncated, their recovery times are truncated, um, and they get to potentially go home the same day. And our experience has been really rewarding and patients really appreciate being able to go home the same day. And yes, you know, there aren't discrete nickels and dimes that we can put on that experience, but that the patient satisfaction piece is critical. Um, for us as well, and we want to make sure that we're at least recognizing that. Phillips.